I think this means a lot to uh, everyone that's a fight for the Olympic glories. As we know, the last Olympic was held uh, only three years ago in Tokyo. So the Olympians uh, started preparing for the Paris Games right after. So they have to face a lot of hardworking uh, injuries, uh, competitions, a lot of uncertainties that can be uh, nerve wracking. So not to mention they have to be highly self-disciplined, sometimes sacrifice the time for themselves and the family. So that not only apply to athletes, but also the managers, uh, the coaches, and also the sport teams, such as uh, fitness trainers, medical and research professionals. I know several faculty and graduate students in our department at Zhejiang University uh, for participating in the tech support, uh, such as big data and computer visualization. So that means a lot of hard work. So I think uh, this is great and we should respect and cheer for them. Uh, President Xi noted that Team China's sportsmanship, its confidence and its openness have also motivated and inspired the nation. It's not simply about medals. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, certainly I noticed yesterday um, there was a gathering and uh, in my view, I think there was uh, two key points to note. First, as President Xi has said, uh, the athletes hold a very strong mind that the glory of the country overweighs the glory of individuals. So that's why many athletes, such as Zheng Qingwen, kept saying that no matter how difficult it is, they always wanted to give all their best and fight for the country, then dedicate the medals to the country. So another thing is, Although some athletes suffer disruptions that are not so fair, such as excessive uh, doping tests, still we manage to keep uh, being confident, uh, optimistic, open-minded, and friendly. Those values are rooted in Chinese traditional culture. So I think that's a, also an excellent demonstration of the spirit of China. And during his speech, uh, President Xi also stressed the importance of uh, building uh, China's uh, national fitness and also developing the domestic sports sector. Uh, I think that uh, includes both the professional and also public sport. How important is this? Yeah, I think that's uh, uh, not, not to mention that's become national strategy. Um, the country has taken a lot of measures to accomplish this goal. Uh, we should not only be uh, successful in gold uh, medal counts, but also we need to make sure that uh, the whole public has become healthy and uh, become happy. So uh, I think that we are making a lot of uh, achievements. Um, for example, uh, the sport uh, industry uh, has grown a lot. Uh, we are managing able to provide uh, quality and uh, affordable products, and uh, such as running uh, shoes and clothing, and also some good service, such as uh, some high-tech uh, smart devices, uh, uh, wearable devices, uh, some supports. I believe. Uh, more public awareness of health, uh, exercise participation, and more investment on quality of hardware and software will strongly push uh, the campaign forward and eventually benefit the whole uh, range of uh, the Chinese population.